Winston, Winston, how you doing, my friends? Great stuff. Timothy, George, how are you going, my man? Steven Seden, everybody's in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in. Liz, Bogani, Paspano, Zrufambere. We're all here. We're making it all happen. I'm so excited to be on this show today. And I'm hoping you guys are all excited too. Timothy says, nice music. We got this, dude. We got this. Now, Everybody else would know right about now. Robert Boca, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Everybody knows. Hey, Ricky Martin, I'm, um, can you do gifts on a live? I don't think you can. <laughs> and Sava Iman, thank you so much for tuning in. Bring them on camera. Okay, oh, it's, it's instrument. <laughs> I'm also reading notes as they tell me. My name is Prosper Taruvinga, by the way. And if it's your first time tuning in, um, let us know in the comments below. And Scott, thank you so much. Kevin Justice, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. If you're in the audience right now, you would know I viscerally believe that every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. And I also believe that if you're, um, you know, in the online business uh, sort of category, you should be able to create for and relate to those that you're going to be taking money off of. All right. So simply every single day within reason. And if I can, we sit around here um, at 2 p.m. AEST where we talk about how small businesses like yourself can essentially grow, market and scale your business through digital marketing strategies. OK, and I teach a simple four step system that is designed for coaches, uh, consultants and um, people that are in your sort of segment of business or whatever niche you're in to capture your leads, um, find the right kind of content, convert that, um, you know, those contents and to actually connect with people that you're going to be taking money off of. Now, if this is your first time tuning into the show, welcome aboard. Please type in where you are checking in from just so that we'll know with how far this show actually would go. Because at the end of this show, I can guarantee you that I can help you build systems that your business can actually start operating an autopilot and I can also help you generate leads and a lot of revenue so that you can work around your business like clockwork using PR and branding um, you know um, strategies I really want to inspire you to do the things that actually inspire you hence the reason for this show today um, we're gonna be talking about something that seems very obvious something that has been spoken about uh, you know, and we're all tired of listening to it, but I think the more we actually hear that your life story and your experience have greater market value than you could ever possibly think of. I'll repeat that again. Your life story and your, um, you know, experience in things that you have learned in life has greater market importance than you could ever dream of. Because the reason why I'm saying this is you're here to make a difference. Do you know what I mean? You're here to make a difference in this world. And the best way to do that is to actually package your knowledge, your advice, and whatever how-to information that you might have so that you can help other people to succeed and also have a happier existence. All right? We're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. So the more you contribute to other people, the happier they become, the more um, fulfilled you become as a person. But it's not always easy, is it? It's not always easy. I can see clear as we die. Zirisego! And uh, Iva Lee Pratt. Nice, nice, um, you know, hearing from you again, all the way from uh, Bahamas. All right. Cool story. So the one thing is us as, um, you know, business people and us as entrepreneurs, we tend to forget that the more we actually share, the more we actually get to have. 
Right now, I'm going to be sitting here for the next 30 minutes and I'm giving you my time. And so are you giving me your attention. The more you give, the more you actually get to keep. All right. How, how is that going to happen? I'm probably going to mention your name. I'm probably going to talk a little bit about what you do. We are going to, once this is recorded, this is going to be shared to a lot more people. You have given. I have given, we get to keep this moment together, all right? Now, can you imagine how many other things you can give out to your customers, you can give out to your suppliers, to your family, your kids, every one of those uh, people that are in your periphery. I see Nicole uh, Lawrence has just tuned in. Thank you so much, my love. And Cleo Zidai, it was great meeting you too, my brother. All right, so it's not easy. It's not an easy, um, you know, uh, trip to be around the sun, as they call it, all right? It's not easy for anybody else to be, do, and have if you haven't made a choice. Does that, does that, make, um, does that make any sense? You've got to decide and you've got to make a choice that I'm the person that's going to be providing people off of my knowledge. I'm the person who's going to be providing people and sharing my talents. And it becomes a race for some other people. And your customers, they're fully aware of that. Do you know what I mean? The market today is as competitive in terms of profit than ever before. You know why? Right now we're sitting, um, you know, I'm in my office and I'm also communicating with a ton other people as we're doing this. Do you know what I mean? But we're using, you know, technology that is accessible to everybody else. This phone that I'm using to record this show right now has much more power and intensity than the equipment they used to go to the moon. So everyone has access to that powerful technology. But moreover, <laughs> more than it is now expected, everybody's getting fired up. And in the next coming months with new technology coming in, in the next coming years, it's going to get harder and harder if you don't do the four things that I'm going to talk about today. All right? So it might sound like it's simple. It might sound like it's something you don't need to pay attention to. I advise that if you haven't gotten a piece of paper to take down notes, today would be one of those episodes that will become the rest of your life in terms of business. By you abiding to the four following awesome concepts that I'm talking about, you too can be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Are you taking down notes? Can you just type in the, 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 the letter yes down there so that I actually know that the people I'm talking to are fully engaged? Nicole, thank you so much. And please share this video um, if you may. Once we finish with this video, you're going to increase your profits. And you're going to be working on autopilot, especially within your business. You know what I mean? Your profits, um, you know, you will do them effortlessly. All right. Without consuming yourself in hard work and endless years. These things that I'm about to talk about are game changing pieces of advice when it actually comes to your business life. And here are the four things I'll be talking about. All right. First of all, you should have a clear mission. Who are you? Who do you serve? And who should care about it? If you're not clear about what you do, who you serve, and why they should pay attention to you, why are people going to consume your content? Why are people going to buy your products? All right, we'll be talking about that. You should also define, clearly define your niche. When people know that you can justify their failures, you can encourage their dreams, you can confirm their suspicions, you can ally with their fears, and you can throw rocks at their enemies. They get to know you, they get to trust you, and they get to like you. And guess what happens? People do business with those that they know, like, and trust. We're going to be talking about how you can actually define that person you want to serve, because not everybody is your customer. All right. Not everyone is your customer. You cannot be everything to everybody else. So you need to figure out who needs your product and why should they particularly care. And last but not least, you have to be innovative because everybody now, anyone who has access to a smartphone, access to sweatpants and a T-shirt and a laptop can call themselves an entrepreneur. Why would people purchase from you? Why would people buy your goods and services? And I, and I swear to you and I promise you, if you follow any of the things that I'm talking about right now, not only are you going to um, create a business that's profitable and enjoyable, but you will actually make a lot more money with less ease. I see Justin McLaren has just tuned in. Thank you so much. Duncan Musaka. Muribuan Jamdala. 
Tomam Bawari Nu. All right. So I'm having so much fun doing this, guys, and I hope you guys also enjoy watching these videos. So these are the surefire ways you can actually maximize the profits that are in your business so you can expand it well be beyond 2018. Let me tell you something. Everybody um, is sold the dream of being an entrepreneur, but the hustle is sold separately. All right. It's just like when you buy your toys for your kids for Christmas. Everybody else can buy the same, um, you know, uh, Barbie doll or the same Tonka truck. But if, if you don't purchase batteries at that particular moment, you go, your kids are going to have to wait until you go back to the shop and pick up the batteries again. Now, I don't know about you, but I know kids these days are very impatient. So you want to make sure that you first of all, give your business a clear mission. You know? If you want your business and your associates and people that you're going to be serving to actually display superior and unobstructed, um, I'm failing to find the actual words, loyalty. If you want people to be loyal to you, you need to show them where they're going with you. You can't just lead people nowhere. If they don't have a clear vision of where you're going, they need to have a clear vision regarding your company's place in the world, its destination. All right. When are you off? When are you on? People need to understand who you are as a person and what makes you tick. I always tell the people that I'm hanging around with that these days because of, you know, you know, all this technology, the closest you are to the camera, the closest you are to the bank. All right. When you're off to go on and define your mission, it just is not a one size fits all type thing. Or you don't just do it once and you sit and forget. You have to constantly be chipping away either by putting out content, letting people know through Facebook lives like this, writing about it, talking about it, being interviewed about it. All right. And you should really be able to answer this question. What is the reason for your business to exist in this climate right about now? What problems are you solving and who needs to hear that? If you're not answering any of these questions within your business, then I think you're probably just spraying and praying with your marketing because nobody really understands what you're doing. The biggest problem that I find a lot of entrepreneurs facing these days, you know what? Nobody knows what they're doing. Anyone can be an entrepreneur. Anyone can open a website these days. It's really simple. Anyone can open a Facebook page. You can have an Instagram account. But if people don't understand why you're doing it, if people don't understand why they should pay attention to you, if people don't understand why they should give you money instead of Sally down the road, then I don't think you're going to win. All right. So you need to clearly define your purpose. You should always view it, you know, from a perspective of how are people feeling that I'm serving them? How are people benefiting from me being in existence in this business? Who am I serving? And what are those people talking about at a barbecue when they meet their friends about what I've done for them? So, you know, you could have an effective mission statement. That would include the way you probably follow, um, you know, in order for you to achieve that mission. But at the end of the day, it should include a point of reference and difference with how everybody else is saying it out in the marketplace. It should be about you. You should be about what you talk about. Now, honestly, say it's to serve and support others and help them grow. That's understandable. Everybody can serve. Everybody can understand. Everybody can support them. And anybody can help other people grow. Why would people want it from you particularly, honestly? Do you know what I mean? So this should be a self-fulfilled and self-defined mission. If, if, if you did not exist in this world, can people not be served? Can people not be supported? Can people not grow? So you need to be clear. Exacto mondo about how are you totally different to anybody else out there that they can't find it or Google it or find it on Wikipedia that you only your company can provide and zero in on that. And once you know that thing, that particular thing that people are searching for from you, then make that the rest of your business life. All right. And once you figure out that particular aspect, you need to define your, div, your, 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 your business niche. 
What segment of the market are you actually serving? People are tired of one-click wonders. I always talk about people that are just here today, not there tomorrow. Grand opening, grand closing. You need to clearly define which part are you serving in the market. Because it's, 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 it's almost unbelievable that a lot of people, massive amount of people that come to me have no idea what business segment they belong to. No clue. Do you know? Although they spend a lot of time working in it. So make sure you want to pinpoint your business, you know, according to how your customer views it. Because the way we see it is totally different to how the customer perceives you. What is the customer's perception of your business? Robert says, oh, one for the phone's words. <laughs> Great stuff. Andrew Davey, thank you so much for tuning in, my brother. Executive Mondo, that is. <laughs> Tell me about it. All right. So make sure you pinpoint what exactly your niche is according to the way your customer views it. Speak their language. See it in their own eyes. Because I'll tell you something that happens around us. Most of you guys have kids. I've got a little girl and I always refer to her when I'm speaking. You know why? Because I'm learning a whole lot, first of all, about myself and about life through my little two-year-old who's almost a three-nager. All right? When... When she wants something that is above her eye level, she, she knows something is there, but she doesn't know. She wants you to pick her up. Now, when you pick up a little girl, when you pick up, um, um, not a little girl, but a little baby, what happens is when you pick up a little baby, you are giving them a different worldview. You are giving them a worldview that is not possible from their own height. All right. But when your hands get tired, what happens? You put them down, don't you? Then they start seeing things at your knee eye level or that's where their eye level is. So you want to make sure that you get your customer to actually understand that you get them, that you understand them. And only you are the person that, that can serve them when it comes to serving them your product or whatever service you've got out there. So you want to make sure you pinpoint your business niche and business activities according to how your customer views it. You could be the best in the world, but if your customer does not see that, if your customer has not said it in their own mouth, in their own words, that means they don't see it, they don't get it. And Denzel, thank you so much for wanting to be on my show, but um, the internet in Australia is a little bit slow, okay? Um, yeah, I can't get you on the show, plus I've got... A time limit so we can't go on but maybe let's plan this a little bit more then then you can be on my show at some point all right so you want to make sure that you define your business activities and you dedicate that to the services and to the products that your customers actually expect from you because if you deviate customers get confused because there's always somebody who's clamoring for their attention out there all right and also, this also talks about those people that are always chopping and changing. If people don't understand what you're doing, they don't have time for you. All right? What are you doing right now to actually affect, first of all, personal and professional lives of your customers? Because if you're not in that space, if you're not doing anything to make other people's life better, then I think you really need to reconsider what you're doing as a business. What are your customers and how are they specifically benefiting from your existence or from the existence of your business? What are you offering and who should actually particularly care about that offering or those services? It's good to open up shop, have a business, couple of likes here on your Facebook pages, but who are you serving and who needs what you're doing? What does your business look like in the eyes of your customer? What testimonials or what reviews are people saying or are people even talking about your business what more what what's more is sometimes you find yourself you know day after day looking into trends looking into the next shiny object and you lose focus on your customers or on the people that actually got you in business figure out what are your customers coming to you for and do just that Alternatively, the business you're probably in today may not last 
in the next 10 years. You know why? Things are constantly changing. But you want to make sure that your customers have had significant changes. They have had a significant impact from your appearance into their lives. Thank you so much, Ansley. If you say this is a great conversation, please share this. Because we are on a mission to help other people have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if I have people like you on the show, it just makes me so happy. All right? There's one thing about marketing. I can't really remember who said this, but if you know who says these words, please type it in the comments below there. That marketers are there to innovate and they're there to educate. So in order for your business to survive, you need to be constantly being and making an impact in today's competitive environment. It's not about selling anymore. What impact, what life-changing activities is your business or your service, services providing to other people? Otherwise, you can just be relegated to a commodity. And guess what commodities are? You now start competing, competing on price. You now start competing on who's, who's the bestest. You now start competing on who's the cheapest, fastest, and who's better at. You see, I'm even making up the words because I, I, I refuse to compete at that level. All right? You need to provide with your customers. You need to become a leader within your own field. So make sure the business you're going to go into is something that is suited for you, something you're passionate about so that you will be viscerally invested in it. And guess what happens after that? Scott says, my content is about being a better person. Understandable. If you're making other people's life better, if you're making your customer's life better, they will come to you for that. Because Scott, as you would know, everybody's coming to the internet to get information, right? So when they get to know you, like you, and trust you, then you become the person that they recently come around to. All right? Like what Michael Kami says, the future is there for those that actually plan for it. So from today on, if you haven't been taking stock of what you do, who you serve, and why they should care, you need to start planning ahead for that. Yeah? It doesn't really matter what your current business is, since things are seriously just going to drastically change in the following years. But if you've created yourself into the brand, you can, you can then morph into something else as long as people feel like you're serving them. And as long as people feel like you be the person to do that job for them. And, if, and, 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 and it makes you even better if you're the person who literally knows exactly what your industry wants. And you are the person that's going to facilitate that change. So be a leader, be a thought leader within your, your business niche. So by you doing that is making sure that you do what you love and you define your business niche accurately and be ready to take on those changes as soon as they come in. Because this will drastically change and increase your profits. Yeah? That's just one other thing. Now we're at number two. Number three is once, once you've got your mission, once you've defined your business, find the person who's going to pay money. I always joke around and say, you got to create and relate for the people that you're going to take money off of. Honestly, say, shame, I got a dash, but about to go and serve a client and solve their pain and problems and do the things they're good at. And that I am. Well, good. Thank you so much for tuning in. There's always a replay. Let us know how you go. Uh, but understandable if you've got a dash you need to be able to define your customer with with accuracy people like you and me are always searching to belong but there's no way you're going to be putting yourself in a group that you don't have or share the same values with you don't you don't trust that person or you don't know what they're selling you so this is basically what marketing is sales and profit um, you know, you know, come along, you know why? Because you literally know the person you're going to be demanding money off of. And to be accurate and to be definite about who you're going to be taking money off is an important factor for you to succeed in business. Why? Then you would know the kind of content you put out. You're going to know the kind of product that relates to them. You're going to know the kind of, you know, way to talk to them in order for them to pay you. All right. So you got to be as precise as possible. 
These days, it's no longer beneficial to say my age group or my target audience is the 22-year-old to 26-year-old female. Those are two different people. The 22-year-old is probably just wondering what is she going to do at uni. The 26-year-old is wondering what is she going to wear on a wedding day. Now, are these people speaking the same language? And there you are trying to sell them stuff. You see what I'm talking about? So you want to make sure that you are as precise and you're as accurate as possible when you're defining your customer. It's about values these days. What are, what, are, what are their failures? What have they failed in life that your problem can fix? You know? Age, income, education, all that has been morphed together. You know why? Because we've become a global entity. What dreams do your customers have that you are now living as a person? All right? What suspicions do they have about the market that your product can, can, can fix? What fears have they been harboring that they're afraid to move on, but you and your product and your services can help them be, do, and have a happier existence? Look, Corin! How's it going, my brother? Do you know what I mean? Who are they already hating in the market that you can help them throw rocks at? That's all you gotta know. Things like demographies, age, income, education, company position, philosophy, background, baseline value can be handy these days. But if you don't share their fears, their hopes, their dreams, it's going to be difficult for you to align with them, connect and encourage them to move on and be, do and have a life that's of existence. Because right now we've got 12 year old entrepreneurs. We've got 96-year-old entrepreneurs. Are they not the same uh, sort of genre of people we should be working with? But are their goals and their visions and their dreams the same? No. So you need to figure out what are their fears right now? Where have they failed that your product and service can actually help them? What dreams do they have? What Do they just want a happier existence? Do they want businesses that are profitable and enjoyable? Or do they want to make a, um, you know, or, or do they want to make an impact in life? So you need to figure out their philosophy, their background. So that means you've got to be immersed in whatever it is that you're doing in order for you to actually get anyone's attention these days. More importantly, what is your customer's perception of value? Where are they in life right now? Where would they rather invest their money? All of those things. Not a lot of people are talking about this. Everybody's just saying go and find 10-year-olds or, or people with a 10-year difference. But we are now so different, man. You know, look at, my, look at my, the, 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 the height of my fingers. Not every one of them is the same height. So why would you think that a cookie cutter or a one size fits all is the one thing that's going to work out? Even gloves, they have different size fingers, but they're in the same hand. So you want to make sure, are you actually creating and relating to the people that you're going to be demanding money off of? Because that's very important. What are the needs of this person? What are their wants? You know? Have they already met somebody else who is probably serving them but is not doing a good job? What makes this prospective customer trust you or your competitors with their money? What would make, what would persuade them to actually, you know, switch from whoever they're paying money right now to come to you? And Luke says you need to know the story, ask probing questions to know what pulls their heartstrings um, for your client and then sell to them on emotion. Absolutely. Well, that's what we're talking about here right now. But at the end of the day, who are you understanding them personally? Are you aligning with their fears? Are you encouraging their dreams? Are you confirming their suspicions? Because you're not the first person to encounter them. So you can't go in and say my way or the highway with them. Henry Mkanza, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're having a fantastic day. And uh, yeah, I, I like the perseverance that you're keeping on, keeping on. You know why? I can understand if, if, if things are not working out for you. But yeah, we can always have a chat after this. Because everybody's always looking to make themselves better and feel better about themselves. Is your product that 
person or that thing that is helping them reach their perceived goals. Why would customers switch you know, their preference right now to your own offerings? How would they be benefited by doing that? What are they missing out on if they're not going ahead with your services? You know? I feel like you should share this video. I, I went all out. I feel like you should share this video. Do that, please. And when you've done that, just, just type in shared. You know? You need to make sure that the, the goods and services that you're offering are things that are needed on the market. You know? And you also need to make sure that you're actually seeing your customer every single time. Don't just per sell things to people and then never want to see them again. Are you going to be seeing them in the near distant future? So that's the reason why your mission and their mission should be aligned. Your business goals should be aligned to their own values. And that way, you continuously make business with people that have already purchased from you. Because according to statistics, we all know this, it's much easier to, purchase, to sell to people that already know you than somebody else who hasn't heard from you. So figure out, what do you need to change right now in your business strategy and the people that are you helping you push your word out there so that your company becomes more attractive to that high profit customer of the future? You know? This is probably the biggest riddle that anyone can, can try and solve in their business today. Is the customer that I'm serving today going to be the customer of the future? Because if they're not, then why are you wasting their time and your time trying to convince them that you're the one for them? And pretty much after that, you don't even need to look at competition. You know why? Because no one is going to be able to do the things that you do. Yeah, but gift mate. Usu pendugila in Japan. Thank you so much for tuning in, brother. You know? Because you're not competing with anyone anymore. So you already have, you know, competitive advantage over your competition. And this is crucial. You don't have to work as, as, as hard. The existence of yourself and even your business, it just depends on your capacity to create some sort of significant you know, competitive advantage over everybody else because you're the only person that can tell your story. You're the only person that can sell the way you sell. You're the only person that has the gifts that you have. If you know what I mean. So pretty much figure out, is there something that you can actually, um, you know, do that you're totally different to everybody else out there? Sava says, must go client arriving soon. Counseling never stops. Thank you for your message. Well, at the end of the day, you can always watch the replay. But thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Find out what are you really, 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 really good at. And how do your products and main products stand out? I want to I wanna help you, all right? Because knowing what I know right now, a lot of us are not doing enough. Because today, the, the primary competitive advantage is... You know, it's no longer how fast you deliver it, how low are your prices, or what convenience you bring into the market. All people need is customer service. Do you actually understand what their problem is? Do you viscerally believe in, their, in, in, in the values that they have? Because every successful and profitable company is out there to offer products and services faster, better, cheaper. But how do you stick out? How do you, how do you make it different for your customer to actually go, that was a good live show, I'm going to share it. Also, you, you got to be there for your customers because these are the people that you're going to be demanding money off of. So you got to make sure it's people that you actually like. All right? I really, really, really hope that today's show struck a bit of a nerve on you. And you now get to understand that I'm here to help you be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I'm here because I viscerally believe that every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. I 
want to actually inspire you to do things that inspire you. So if we can have a chat, just say, have a virtual coffee with me. Let's look at what your business really looks like right now. Let's see what you're doing. Let's see what's different about what you're going. Just type in the word coffee and I'll send you through a copy of, yeah, I'll send you through um, a, a link so you can get to, um, so you can get to my uh, um, calendar. I didn't realize we are, we, are, we are over time right now. But thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have really, really liked this video, please share this. For me, it's no longer a, comp uh, 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 a matter of competition. We just really need to inspire other people so that they can be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Rick Martin, thank you so much for tuning in, brother. And everybody else, enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you so much.